Um, I just uh, wanted to reiterate this idea. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Parental Kidnapping Prevention Act of 1980. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the federal agent or the federal act gives jurisdictional priority to the child's home state. Mm -hmm. Parental abduction cases. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the home state was the United States Territory of Guam. That's where Benjamin was born. Yes. See, we, we became residents of Guam at the time of his birth. Yeah. His actual birth certificate was issued from Guam. Now, uh, the conflict that arises between the two states, known as Washington State and the jurisdiction of Guam. Yeah. <laughs> You know, there was a stipulation and order that I tried to communicate to healthy families of Clallam County. Yes. Mm -hmm. And an evaluation about uh, reconciliation. Yeah. But they decided to say that I was attempting to contact the petitioner through a third party. Mm -hmm. That's why you had me arrested. Yes. 20 days after I had contacted them. Oh. And uh, after my wife had filled out all the necessary forms to petition the court for a dissolution of marriage. Now, uh, there seems to be some conflict, yes, uh, as, it, as it relates to the um, regulating of the contact between myself, ooch, my wife, and my five sons. Oh. Now, it extends to the Federal Fugitive Felon Act to cases in which a child mm -hmm, has been taken out of the United States Territory of Guam, yes, where the act would constitute a felony, yes. See, the false accusation of family violence, yeah, child abuse and assault that took place on Guam, yeah, where Heidi had arranged to have me put in jail, all right, so that she could kidnap and abduct my sons, all right, move back to Clallam County, mm -hmm. and have you issue a protection order where you had no jurisdiction of law. Now, this Federal Fugitive Felon Act, yes, where uh, she bought plane tickets without my knowledge, right, because I asked to be informed about what was going on. Mm -hmm. And then she moves back to Clallam County. Yes, you issue a protection order. Yep. Where I did not receive any notice or opportunity to be heard. Mm -hmm. Now, this is another one of those federal laws known as the Federal Fugitive Felon Act. Yes. Where a child, yes, all five children, yes, were taken from Guam. And uh, it would constitute a felony, thus enabling the FBI to investigate. Yes. Mm -hmm. It also authorizes certain persons access to the Federal Parent Locator Service. Yeah. The SORNA. Ooch. Where if you kidnap children, you have to register as a sex offender. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> now, I took it upon myself to email those involved in the Amber Alert System. Yes. Numerous radio mm -hmm. and television stations. Yes. That my sons are missing right now. Could you get me the Amber Alert system? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, for every individual that has a cell phone in the police department. Yes. I'd like to know all federal services. Yes. That if you got a text message saying that somebody was missing. Oh. <laughs> you would look for the individual. Ouch. Because the Amber Alert system mm -hmm. is used to find missing children. Yes when they've been abducted and kidnapped. Right now! Now, for all the federal agencies that have the availability of an alert system, yeah, I like your phone number. Ooch. Because my thought is you can go to prison, yes, and I'll take all your assets right now. <laughs> now, I emailed the Amber Alert System, yes, numerous radio right now!